All right, polynomial division with remainders on your TI Inspire CX cast. It's actually pretty easy, I think, so let's just try to do this. Just going to the home screen, going to choose calculator here, and then we're going to use the expand function. So EX, oh my gosh, can you do it? P A N D. If I have to start this video one more time, right? You should know why that's hilarious because I've started this video 15 times today. Minus 8 divided by x squared minus 5. I'm doing it, Will. You proud? <laughs> minus 5x plus 1. And that really is all there is to it, right? So if we hit just hit enter here, we get this. Take a look at this just for a second, though. What it says is that this, this function right here can be simplified to this. Let me be clear because of the way the calculator writes this. This is actually an oblique asymptote here, isn't it, to the function? x plus 5 is the oblique. This is the remainder. So there's a remainder here, and the remainder is this part right here. Okay? All right. Uh, let's do one more really quickly. Will, was that good? Was that good? That was all right. It's hilarious because it's taking me four days to do a two-minute video. It's kind of embarrassing, but at least nobody knows, right? Just us. Oh, sorry. Darn it. <laughs> all right. So let's do another one, plus one here. Your down cursor to get into the denominator, we have x squared minus 5x minus 14. If I screw this up, I quit forever. I swear I do this. Last video ever. Hit enter. And same thing here. So this is the division of that. Here is the oblique asymptote, and here is the remainder. So. The question was, how do you do polynomial division with your TI Inspire CX cast? And that's the answer. Hope it was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And your comments are always welcome, except for you, Will, because you're unkind. <laughs>